Assalamu alaikum, hi and welcome to Technology Information Channel. Today I am going to make the video on the generator related problem, generator under voltage trip and generator over voltage trip. What is the main possible causes of when the generator is stripped and our voltage condition or under voltage condition? Let's get started. Before starting the videos, if you are first time on my channel, please make sure to subscribe my channel and hit the bell notification for more needs update video. Thank you. Because I daily basis uploaded the video on the generator related problem, the solid engine related problem and diesel engine related problem. Okay, electrical and mechanical both type of video that is I am making and uploaded on my YouTube channel to understanding my friends. Thank you. This problem most commonly coming in Cummins generator, Perkins generator, Yanmar, Kabuta and many other brands. Okay. But the problem is same. Okay, in every condition in every generator, when tripped with the under voltage or over, over voltage, what could be the possible causes and how to check step by step gradually? Okay. First of all, we write here is under voltage okay this is the under voltage problems and this is the over voltage problems and this is all the possible causes of under voltage and over voltage condition okay how to diagnose and how to proper fix this the problem very easy and very simple method these two types of methods under voltage over voltage is a is a very little bit closely same but the condition is different okay sometime your generator is un under voltage trip sometimes is your generator is over voltage trip but this means a high and this means a low. Okay. If you get in this condition under voltage, how you need to first to check? First of all, you need to determine the engine RPM. Okay. How much is your engine rated RPM is? Okay. You check your RPM with the specific rated RPM of the engine, of engine and alternator. Okay. Most commonly we use the 1500 rpm, 1800 rpm and 60 hertz and 1500 rpm and 50 hertz. Okay. Your generator is 1500 rpm, 1500 rpm rated kilowatt. Um, for example, you have 20 kilowatt generator which you have branded off for caterpillar. Okay. Uh, you are getting under voltage problem. First of all, you need to check the specification engine specification actually how much the engine rpm is company rated rpm before you check your alternator rpm if your alternator rpm and engine rpm same 1500 or 1800 then you check your engine rpm when the engine is when the engine is running in the running condition note it how much our rpm is now Okay, note that and determine and figure out this. Okay, if the RPM is low, for example, your engine of 1800 RPM, 60 hours, and your engine is now running on 550 or 560 or 500, 1570, sorry, or 1580, you raise your engine RPM to reach the 1800 RPM because your Rated RPM is 1800. You need to set the 1800 RPM for your engine. Okay. After that, if you setting out, if your RPM setting is out, that means your RPM is low and your generator is stripped under voltage. Okay. Because your alternative engine rated RPM is 1800, but now as your RPM is 
how it are French. Okay, you can set your RPM. How to set the RPM? RPM is a set with the engine fuel pump, fuel injection pump linkage. The engine fuel, any diesel engine, the on the fuel pump linkage have bolts like this. When you tighten this block, this nut, this bolt clockwise, this will be raised the RPM. And you release this anti-clockwise, this is the RPM is going to down. Okay. First of all, you need to set the good RPM for your engine rated RPM. After that. AVR will take sitting out. The AVR have alone the simple voltage setting for the voltage raising and increasing decreasing. If your engine RPM, rated RPM is 1800, but still you have problem with the under voltage. You check your AVR voltage setting and the small screw potential meter to minimize and increase and decrease the voltage from the small potential screw you adjust your voltage from the AVR screw check the meter and select the select the rated voltage okay after that faulty VR, if your VR is faulty problem and the VR, VR is malfunctioning, this will be the main problem of under voltage. Okay, your RPM is good, 1800, your voltage is good, rated voltage, and then you set the proper voltage and AVR, then AVR will again again the problem to shut down the engine. Okay. That's mean you swap up the AVR, replace the another one and check again. Okay. After that, for clock fuel filter, air filter. If your fuel filter is clogged, the engine not reaching to the red RPM because that's not getting enough fuel for the proper red RPM. If you are not, not service fuel filter please replace the new fuel filter if your air filter is clogged then your engine is not getting enough oxygen that's where this is uh, the main your engine is not reaching to the rated RPM because your air filter is clogged the engine not getting enough oxygen for the to reaching the rated RPM Okay. After that, overload. If your engine is overload, if you your engine is overload, that means your voltage is dropping. Your engine or PM is dropping because you put on too much load on your engine. They that means he not carry overload because if your engine has, uh, for example, five kilowatt of generator, you cannot put. 7 kilowatt of load on this because it means overload that means the problem of under voltage okay this load is with the specific load of the engine how much they carry okay weak engine if the engine is weak engine piston ring and engine compression piston ring is worn out, the engine not be making enough compression for the combustion, that's mean the engine is not making a too much power, that's mean the under voltage problem, okay, if your engine is a blow by, too much a blow by, and oil burning, that's mean your engine is weak, okay, after the last one, possible causes bad exciter, winding or short of your big side of your alternator have separate winding which working for the excitation system of the alternator when the excited wiring short or bad that's mean it's not be making a good excitation system 
that's mean your generator under voltage shut down trip okay that's the all the under voltage cause possible causes now we are left to the power voltage if your generator rpm is high out of and above of the rated rpm that's mean your engine is power voltage when your rpm more uh, more rotating high rotating that's mean high voltages okay please set the rated rpm to the engine specification after that we are voltage setting out that's mean we are have separate voltage setting you adjust your voltage setting from your avr okay after that the faulty avr if your avr is small functioning or bad avr that's mean your voltage is raising because the avr small functioning okay swap off another one install the new one and check the problem after that faulty governor if your engine governor is faulty every diesel engine every generator have governor some kind of engine have electrical governor some kind of engine have mechanical governor but the working function is same you check your governor in the proper method how this really working or not after that no load six number cause no load if your engine have running without the loads then engine rpm little bit high we are keeping the rpm and 1500 generator 50 hertz frequency 500 1550 rpm when the engine is running without the load that means the engine is our voltage that means the engine rpm is high when the engine rpm is high the voltage is also high the generator is our voltage going to trip okay after that we the seven month unbalanced load what is the unbalanced load unbalanced load means in a three phase generator you have three phases and one neutral l1 and l2 and l3 and neutral if you have 15 kilowatt of generator you put the load on this 7 kilowatt on one phase 3 kilowatt on one another phase and 20 kilowatt on another phase that means the voltage is unbalanced because the generator voltage is unbalanced that means the low neutral path this going to be high power voltage trip okay you should apply the load on 15 kilowatt w 15 kilowatt generator same same phases load for example 10 12 ampere 13 14 ampere and 15 16 ampere on each phases that means the balanced load if your generator is out of unbalanced load on you put on it that means you getting the problem over voltage okay i hope you understand this video gratefully thanks for watching see you next time goodbye